Awards took place yesterday to honor top educators. The awards were conceptualized and launched in 2000 by the late Professor Kader Asmal. Since their inception, they have become a popular way of recognizing and awarding teachers who make a difference in learning and teaching. For more, we are joined in studio by Panyaza Lesufi, the Gauteng Education MEC, as well as Tuto Sotetsi, who is the best maths teacher, nice. the winner of the Best Maths Teacher Award in Gauteng. Well, thank you, gen very gen gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you. So now, of course, it's vitally important, you know, for any profession, uh, any industry to celebrate its workers. Um, would you say that this is even truer for the teaching profession, given the fact, uh, MEC, that uh, because it's the crucible for learning that produces so many other kinds of leaders? Thank you so much, Manager, for this opportunity. It goes beyond that, to be quite frank. Um, as we're celebrating on the 5th of October, uh, World Teachers Day, we felt that uh, let's package something that will leave our educators appreciated. Because sometimes they feel that they're doing all the hard work, uh, but no one appreciates them. Uh, all of us here, <laughs> we can't be what we are. Uh, if they, we, we could not be what we are, or we could not do whatever that he wants to do career-wise if there was no teacher. Uh, and it was within that con uh, context that we felt that let's invite all of our best educators, uh, give them a, an evening that they won't forget, and also reward them for the hard work that they've done. And I'm quite excited with the team that is here. Uh, they've done exceptionally well. I mean, Tuto here, I mean, to be the best maths teacher in the province uh, and coming uh, from the background that is coming from, uh, it's quite clear that the investment that we've placed in turning the corner mm. in terms of quality education is yielding the necessary dividends. So let's bring Tutor in yeah. right now because, I mean, you, Tutor, how do you feel about this? I mean, give us a little bit of information about your background and, and what this award means to you. Um, actually, um, uh, I'm, I'm mixed emotions. Actually, um, I can only describe the feeling that I have now in simple for few words i'm actually grateful excited happy and i'm proud of myself and actually i i did my best tried to, uh, to enter this national teaching awards for several times now and um, i feel a bit honored and and it's not an easy easy thing or easy easy way to get to this level and um, this award it actually means a, a lot. It, 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 it's a motivation not only to me, but to other educators who um, also um, doing their best to, 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 to give the information to learners. And again, it's the motivation to other young uh, uh, learners, especially the grade 12 people who are going to, or maybe learners who are going to university to, to follow the career in teaching. It's not only, um, um, it, it, this shows that it's not only a career that um, you're only looking for a payment, but what the ministers, I, I mean the MEC is doing, is actually the motivation to, to, to say uh, teaching is not just a job, it, it, it goes beyond that. Yes, it's, yes. it's, it's called a calling. It's a calling. No, it is, it is. It is, it is, it is a calling. Is, yeah. And so, MEC, if I can just come bring you, come yeah. we'll, we'll come back to Tutor in a moment. Um, how successful have these awards been in motivating teachers towards you know, overcoming sometimes their own material circumstances as well as the teaching conditions in those schools? The good thing is that they are sought after what? Yes. <laughs> there is no educator that wants to retire without having uh, won this award. Of course. Um, and, and, and the mere fact that they start at the local level, you know, they start at the school level, they go in the district, and they come at the province, and they go nationally. It, it, mean, it means that it involves each and every school. Uh, so, so when we say he's the best in the province in terms of math, it means he's the cream de la cream that we have. So and for him, at, yeah, for him to win this award at his age uh, excites some of us because majority of people believe the teaching career is going down. Uh, and we have argued and argued very strongly uh, that if you, can't have, if you can't get education right, we're not going to get the country right. Uh, so, so if you have young, dynamic people who want to be part of building education, indirectly they're building the country. And in doing so, the future of our children looks much brighter than we thought. Now, Tuto, tell us a little bit about your school and a little bit of the background of, you know, how long have you been teaching, for example? Um, um, this year I'm completing my, my sixth year. So it's been some time um, um, in teaching career. And um, I'm from um, Suncrest. It's, it's in Fandabel Park. And it's a former Model C school. And um, not well resourced, but um, it has a bit of resources. And actually, again, I have to put my, uh, some of my ideas to see in, in 
how to make plans in terms of making my lessons more interesting and so on. It's not like I indicated, it's, it's situated in a, in a place where I can say they are, it's, there are people who, are, who stay there are, are good people, but we, we have learners from townships, especially Mose, Booking, Sharpville, and, and so on. So I have to do my best to see on, on how to make my lessons interesting, especially with the, the subject that I'm teaching. Yes. Now, what makes a good teacher? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that question, um, learners can describe a good teacher more than any other person because I believe that uh, they have different views in terms of what kind of a good teacher they want. For instance, if I may say, one might say a good teacher is the one who sings. So yes. means if I'm singing, I'm a good teacher to a certain <laughs> learner. One might say a good teacher is the one who eats an apple every day. So it means you if I eat an apple, yes, I'm a yes, good yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. It keeps the doctor away. <laughs> but, <laughs> but now tell us a little bit. Of, uh, you've said you've used some innovative strategies and to overcome the challenges at your school. Just tell us a little bit about those. Um, um, just to reference a little bit in, in, um, in MEC, uh, um, he said, he once said that he was doing his best to, to eliminate papers in classes. So in these days, you, the use of the technology, it makes much more lessons easier, sure. especially with the, the, the changes that we see in, in the technology. So equipping myself with that information of the, the change uh, uh, in technology, especially, it, it makes things easier. So that's what I normally use, especially if, if you look at most of the learners now, they, they like technology. So try my best to see how do I fit the teaching and deliver message using the technology. It's very important in each and every lesson. Okay, wonderful. Now, MEC, just to wrap up, uh, you know, could you just tell us a little bit about the judging process and, you know, um, what is the next step? I mean, these are the provincial so, awards. Yeah, there's the provincial lake. Uh, the national adjudicators that also attended our event. So, so now that all the provinces have submitted their winners, so the hard work starts now uh, for the national winner. I'm wishing them well, uh, and I've no doubt it's going to bring that trophy uh, yes. back here in Gauteng. Uh, and we are taking almost uh, 11 educators to the national awards. That's Gauteng. Mm -hmm. And as we said, uh, everything starts in Gauteng. If Gauteng can't be there, then there's nothing. <laughs> uh, but we also want to demonstrate one thing. Uh, which is very, very important, that our teachers must know we appreciate them. We love them, and the conditions they're working in, they might not be ideal, but government is listening to change those conditions so that they can have proper conditions that will allow them uh, to produce the necessary skills that we have. Because we need those skills for the economy to move. If the economy can move, we'll see these young people being unemployed, and that will be the end of our country. So I want to encourage all our educators Let's do this for the nation. Let's do this for our children, because if you can't do this, there's no nation. Thank you very much indeed, gentlemen. Kauteng MEC Education, MEC Panyaza Lesufi, as well as Tuto Sotetsi, the match winner, and bring back that trophy. Oh, definitely. <laughs> well, you can view any of our interviews and features by going to sabcnews.com. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Time for us to take a short break. We'll be back after this.